Mockingbird has finally released their new single to double stroller and it retails for $3.95, which makes this one of the best budget-friendly double stroller options for any young family. Stay with me. Hey guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. So ever since my review of the original Mockingbird, I've gotten a lot of messages. A lot of parents went on to buy the stroller and love the value that it added. But the question I got most was, when are they gonna release a stroller option to support multiple kids? Well, that day is finally here, and I think the best way to talk about the stroller is to break it down into its stages. First, as a single, then a double, and then lastly, as a triple, which, which that's pretty exciting. As I mentioned, it retails for $3.95, and this is what you get. It looks very similar to the original model, and everything that I mentioned in the previous video is still relevant here with regards to build quality, the seat, the leather, and canopy options, the smooth ride from that suspension, and uh, the wheels, the brake system. I mean, it's all the same, and I encourage you to refer back to the original video uh, for the granular details about Mockingbird. I'll link that down below. For now, what I'll focus on is the frame, because that's the main differentiator between the new one and the original model. If you look at it closely, it has a slightly longer frame to accommodate the expansion into a double. From a weight perspective, it feels about the same as the original, and even though it's technically longer, it's not noticeably different. Now, because of this change, it actually affects two things. First is the basket, which is about the same size, but now you actually have easier front access since that wall has been lowered. And second is the fold. When looking at the side profiles, the newer model juts out just a tad more than the original single. So again, everything is generally the same with the main difference being the frame. The original is still at 350, and if you know that uh, you're just having one child or you plan on spacing out your kids by a few years, then the original is probably for you. But if you know you're having twins or you know you want a bunch of littles in a short amount of time, then the single to double is probably what you're looking for. To make the expansion happen, you'll need to get the second seat kit, which does come separately for 120, but if you buy it off the bat and bundle it with the stroller, they'll knock off 20 bucks and everything that you're looking at will total to 495. The kit comes with upper adapters to raise your first seat, lower adapters to attach your second seat, and then obviously your second toddler seat. You can switch it up however you want. There are multiple arrangements that you can try, and they also have a cheat sheet showing all of their configurations, so check that out carefully. A majority of what I'll be showing is with both of the toddler seats installed facing forward, but know that infant seats and Mockingbird's bassinet can be used in the mix as well. Uh, for a full list of the infant seats that can be used with Mockingbird, I'll go ahead and check out their site down below. Also down there is a link to buy the stroller. If you do end up pulling the trigger, uh, buying through that link actually helps support this channel and it's at no additional cost to you guys. So uh, consider doing that. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Some inline doubles like this have weight restrictions on their seats. For Mockingbird, that's not the case. Both seats can accommodate children up to 45 pounds, which again, this thing was built for longevity. Now, just like the original, I don't think anyone's gonna have a problem with build quality or rigidity. If TSA knocks it around a little bit or you close your trunk door on it, it's gonna take some hits. Uh, in fact, I, I literally did this. Uh, I did like an at-home crash test the way Dwight did in the office. Playtime is over! Turned out fine, obviously pretty scuffed in a couple different places, but there was zero bending on the frame and it pushed like new, so that was, that was nice. Maybe don't do what I did, just take my word for it, it is strong. But with that strength comes weight. Full-size doubles aren't meant to be nimble and light, but in comparison to the Vista, for example, our biggest critique is that it does push a little heavier and it is harder on the turns. Is that gonna kill your buying decision? No, probably not. But we just have to share what it did feel like behind the handle for us. The next thing I'll note is the open and fold takes a sec. Most doubles are gonna be this way because when opening and folding, you have to work with adapters. The Evenflow Pivot Expand, for example, does not have that because the expansion is built in, which is a lot more convenient. You can just open it, connect it, and go. Looking at the Juvie Cool, that double does have adapters, but you can just slide them on and connect them a bit faster. And in addition to that, it can be folded and stored with the adapters on. Now, Mockingbird is very similar to up a baby system where you have to clip on the lower adapters, which does take a second and doesn't bode well if you're always in a rush. 
and the inverse is true when folding. It's not really possible to store it in your trunk with the lower adapters connected. You'll definitely need to pop those off before putting it away. To round this all out, as I mentioned before, this can be considered a triple. Mockingbird is developing their own attachment which can carry your toddler and make it so that it could support up to three kids, which would make it a pretty heavy push. But I mean, if you're headed to Disney, this is great. I wish it was out right now so I actually play with it in person. It's not, I don't know when it's coming out, but if you stay updated uh, by following this channel or following me on Insta, right here, uh, I like posting stories as new products roll through. So come follow me. I'm really excited for that attachment. To sum all this up, this is a one and done stroller. Most parents are in the market to buy something that will last through all of their children for years and this is that. It's not a $200 budget stroller, but most parents that I chat with are looking for something under 500 bucks that's still quality and this is your answer. I mean, it's giving you the premium feel of the $1,000 options while still being priced within reason. And if something does go wrong, customer service is pretty solid. Like this isn't an overseas brand, they're based out of New York, they're gonna take care of you. Now, the only question that I have coming out of this video is for all the stroller brands out there, all you stroller brands, why are cup holders still a luxury add-on item? Like, why is Kalugo the only one hooking us up with these? Parents want cup holders and we want them for free. I'm just saying. Please, that's all I've got for you guys. For you parents out there who've had some sort of experience with Mockingbird, please leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. It's gonna help other parents with their buying decision. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless, later.